Overwatch 2 can be a tough game to wrap your head around, especially when you're a newbie. I defy any newcomer to the game to explain exactly what might be going on here, for example. But not all of Overwatch 2's colourful cast of characters are built the same. Some are more beginner friendly than others, so if you don't know your hit scan from your flankers or your main support from your flex support, relax we can help you get the best out of your early days in Overwatch 2. To be clear, these aren't necessarily the current meta for Overwatch 2, so if you're already pushing for plat in competitive, maybe try one of our other vids. Each role in the Hero Shooter sequel has heroes that are easier to use than others, so whether you're a support, tank, or DPS main, these are the picks that will make it a lot easier for you to get to grips with the game fast and start earning those victories. First up then, we have DPS, and for newbies looking for the quintessential FPS experience, look no further than Soldier 76. Soldier is probably the simplest hero to use in Overwatch 2, since his kit plays basically like it's straight out of Call of Duty. His heavy pulse rifle is the ideal FPS weapon, offering a fast fire rate and supreme damage dealing output, and feels just as natural to aim as any weapon you'll have played with in any other first person shooter. His helix rockets work almost exactly the same as his primary, except they'll deal more damage over a larger area, and are great for finishing off tanks or supports that are trying to escape. And Soldier even comes with his own source of healing thanks to Biotic Field, so if your mates are just getting to grips with how the support role works, you can be self-sufficient and keep yourself in the fight while they get up to speed. If you're an FPS gamer finally making the jump to Overwatch 2, then Soldier will feel like a natural pick for you. Sprinting between fights and laying down the pulse rifle fire is a genuinely fun loop that will quickly help you learn the rhythm and pace of your standard Overwatch 2 match, and his ultimate ability makes you lock onto any enemy in sight, so you don't always even have to aim that well to get value out of him. If you're looking for something a bit different for your first few matches though, or you just don't like Call of Duty and came to Overwatch to get away from all that, may we suggest Torbjorn as an option? Torb can be played like your bog standard FPS character, his rivet gun is a potent long range banger, but his turret skill is a massive boon, especially to newbies. Torb's turrets can be placed pretty much anywhere you want and will slowly pick away at your opponents. While most players can avoid them as long as they're careful, they're great for locking down objectives and keeping your enemies off the point while you rack up the damage. Torb is a more passive hero than most other DPS since his main job is managing and maintaining his turrets, but between his rivet gun and his molten metal ultimate, he's exceptionally good at controlling the space around objectives, especially for a damage hero. And that is, after all, the key to winning matches in Overwatch 2. And a lot of newcomers won't expect this more passive playstyle, especially if they're used to seeing soldiers and reapers running around the battlefield. Try top the thinking player's DPS. So we have our easy to use damage dealers, let's look at mitigating some of that shall we? Tanks in Overwatch 2 have an even greater role to play now that there's only one of you, so understanding the role and where you need to be to defend your teammates is crucial. With that said, newcomers can rarely go wrong with Overwatch's resident classic tank, Reinhardt. Ryan is your typical no-nonsense, hammer-swinging, shield-wielding protector of the innocent. He looks like a tank and his kit should feel comfortable if you even vaguely know what a tank is supposed to do. For a start, he has a shield, which has become something of a rarity in Overwatch 2. His barrier field covers a huge area, allowing your teammates to hide in behind you while they deal damage in the opposite direction. When you're looking to advance as a single unit, Ryan is the oversized beefcake for the job. Charge is a great ability to get away from a fight you can't win or engage with enemies a lot faster than anyone that size should be able to. And once you're close enough, Ryan's rocket hammer can deal huge body blows to any team. And because it's a melee weapon, and you'll be right on top of them, newcomers who struggle a bit with aiming will find Ryan to be a very forgiving damage dealer. Not that he's your only option, if you're looking for a hero that can stand on her own four feet and never die, you should look no further than Orisa. The Omnic is an absolute beast in Overwatch 2 and is ridiculously hard to kill, especially if you have a healer constantly providing you with backup. She doesn't have to reload, so the only thing you have to worry about is overheating her fusion driver, and protecting your allies is remarkably simple because all you need to do is use fortify or javelin spin and simply body block anyone coming in to attack your teammates. Fantastic for forcing DPS characters like Cassidy or Soldier into wasting their ults on you instead of your squishy support. She is a little harder to use than someone like Ryan, however, since her javelin requires pinpoint accuracy to get value from, and for her ult to be effective, you'll need to hone your game sense on when it's best to use it, but if you're starting out on a solo tank queue journey, 
Arissa is hard to beat. Last but not least, we have the healers and supports. Possibly the most maligned role in Overwatch, but one of the most rewarding if you stick with it. Your main job is to keep your team alive. No easy task, especially if you're just starting out, but these heroes will help you get up to speed. Mercy might seem an obvious pick, but she is the poster girl for support heroes for a reason. Her Caduceus staff can heal and buff damage output for your teammates, and it has pretty decent range, which means you can hide behind your tank or some cover while still being useful and getting used to being the thin white line between your entire squad and the spawn room. And if you mess up, or as is more likely, your teammate runs somewhere they shouldn't, you can always resurrect them to bring them back into the fray early. Or you can let them go back to spawn as recompense for getting themselves killed. The choice is yours. Mercy also has some of the best mobility in the game, which is incredibly important now that Overwatch 2 is a 5v5 and fights are a lot more spread out. Getting the best out of Mercy is all about battlefield management and prioritising who to heal and when to switch on the damage buffs. While you do have a pistol, you'll rarely be going on the offensive, so in terms of learning exactly how to excel as a support, Mercy is a great introduction to the role and easy to get value out of. If, however, you enjoy dealing damage just as much as you enjoy healing, Moira is always an option too. Her kit is easy to use and understand and while her primary objective is keeping her squad healthy, she can dole out the damage just as well. Biotic Grasp works as a spray of healing as well as an energy sapping damage dealer on enemies that you can freely switch between using primary and secondary fire. Not only does dealing damage with it heal you as well, it requires very little actual aiming to get the most out of, so if you're new to this whole FPS thing, she can be a potent hero to play. She also has one of the best heals in the game and along with her orbs can keep tanks happily plodding towards the point all day long provided they protect her. Add to that her fade ability which makes you momentarily invisible and invulnerable, great for avoiding some very common ults like D.Va's self-destruct and an ult which both heals allies and damages enemies and Moira is a great early support if you're just weaning yourself off the high of DPS. Just make sure you actually heal your teammates though. No one wants to see a Moira with zero healing and more damage dealt than your entire DPS core. How are you finding Overwatch 2 so far? And what do you make of our choices of heroes for beginners? Chuck your thoughts down in the comments and don't forget to like this vid and subscribe for more Overwatch 2 content like this.